At a high level, what are some recommendations you can give to people kind of getting started thinking about performance and best practices for performance? I think the first and most important thing that I would recommend for anyone who's new to the subject is to um, learn a bit more about it. I think a lot of the time people find performance a really overwhelming subject and like they've heard that, you know, like maybe having too many draw calls is bad. They don't know what a draw call is. They don't know where to start. It's all kind of scary. But there are resources out there for beginners to learn from. And that's the first thing I would say, just like familiarize yourself a bit more with the topic so it's less scary and you know where to start. We did a talk at uh, Unite Amsterdam last we, year. We did. If you remember. <laughs> I, I, do, I do remember. <laughs> called uh, Performance Optimization for Beginners. And that, that was meant to be a very gentle, friendly, non-overwhelming way for people to get an in on this subject, to just like understand what performance is and what improving performance could mean for them. Yeah, and it was great. It was, I, it was a great if, talk. If I dare say so myself. <laughs> uh, and, and is also available on YouTube for you guys, for you guys to check out. And, and the other one thing I just wanted to call out in that category was you also wrote an excellent, if I dare say so, uh, set of articles on you know, what, it, what is garbage collection? Right. What is, yeah. or I don't know if that's actually one of the titles, but. but no, that's in, that's in there, right, yeah. Like, uh, um, I wrote a few articles um, on the Unity Learn site, uh, a performance optimization that I aimed, again, at beginners or intermediate Unity users, people who are just starting to bump up against needing to know about performance, and they're meant to be totally non-scary. Um, yeah. And I think they're super, all the, you know, non-scary, but also super accurate and, oh, yeah, and valuable. Yeah, I would yeah. just, you know, I some think, people I, I hear like, to... yeah, it kind of, but it's really good, clear, and and precise information as well. Thank so, you. Yeah, I, I, I learned a lot from those. Um, I think that the, after kind of familiarizing yourself with the subject a bit more, the next thing to do is to learn how to profile, like how to get information about how your game is performing now um, and get familiar with what tools there are in Unity that will give you that information. Because we've got a ton of good tools built into Unity that will tell you if your game's performing slowly, what is taking that time? Like, where can you save that time? How do you fit, hit your target frame rate? We've got tools that'll tell you what's in memory at the moment. We've got tools that'll tell you what's being drawn on the screen in what order to help you work out any problems you might be having with rendering. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, and just to kind of, for those who want to go and do further research, right, we have the, the profiler, yes. which is where you can see frame by frame and get a list of all the processes and what what's taking what amount of time. Yeah. Uh, what the memory tool that you referred to, which there, there's, there's a couple okay, things, sure, right? Yeah. But, but there's one that people can find. Right, so uh, in, in the profiler window, there's already memory information there that's super useful. But uh, there's a new version of the memory profiler that's being worked on at the moment. And an early prototype of that tool is available uh, on Bitbucket at the moment. It's uh, open source and free to download. And that's a tool that gives you like a really great visual snapshot of what's in memory and what's, you know, what, what's larger than it should be. What's in memory that shouldn't be in memory at the moment? Like you can see if the textures for the start menu of your game are in memory while your game's running. That's great, that's memory that you don't need to be using. It's a really visual way to understand that. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and that's, I'll put the link up for people to check that out. The, um, and then also like, so in terms of, of drawing things to the screen, right, there's the frame debugger, right. which is not so new, but I feel like not, not everybody knows about. Right, and um, it's, there've been a couple of changes to it since it's come out. So the frame debugger lets you see the commands that Unity is sending to the graphics API in the order it's sending them, um, which lets you see like literally what's being drawn to the screen during a frame. One thing that's really useful that's been added recently-ish to that is um, in Unity 5.6, they added information that lets you see when you select, um, when you select a batch, uh, um, the information that's been sent to the graphics API, it tells you 
why that wasn't batched with the previous one. Um, if you're trying to fix problems with rendering, you'll come up against this concept of batching. You'll learn what that means. But it's a way that things can be bundled together to draw them using less CPU time. Um, yeah. And yeah, it gives you like a human friendly description of why things haven't been batched together, which is super useful. That's cool. I didn't actually know about that. That's no, there people don't, right? Learning, <laughs> learning is, learning is taking place job. live on camera. <laughs> um, and I mean, just for the frame debugger, it's something I always find super, super interesting, you know, especially with like larger projects, because you can actually scrub through the frame. Mm, yeah. You know, and see, oh, the tree is getting drawn in front of this, and then these post processing effects are being added, just as like almost as an educational right, tool. Yeah, it can yeah. be super interesting to just see, like, Oh, and for some reason, yeah, all these trees are getting drawn separately instead of being batched together. And right, exactly. It's super, super interesting. So we're coming to the the end of Unite Berlin here. Yeah. Uh, what what have you what have you seen this week or done this week that that sticks out for you? Um, Ian's talk that we discussed and the and the crazy fan reaction to that that was great. Um, I played some Overcooked too. I was really into that. Oh, I, I love took a quick look at that. The new chefs are amazing and adorable. Really? Oh, I can't yeah. wait. I haven't seen it yet. Actually, I can't wait to. I can't wait to play. Me and my kids so love playing Overcooked yeah. One. Well, I thought I'd enjoy playing it with my sister, but we've agreed to stop playing it together. <laughs> too much yelling. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's intense. It's intense. It's, yeah, it's just like being in a real kitchen. I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh, oh, last night at the Unite party, uh, I did uh, Marioki, the video game karaoke. I always enjoy that. That's why my my voice is a little tired today for Amazing. my talk. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your wealth of knowledge with us. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much.